a very good Monday morning to you. You are watching Why in the Morning, your favorite breakfast show only on Y254 channel. We do this every day between 7 and 10 o'clock in the morning, Mondays to Friday. And this is Monday indeed. It's about time we get to politicking and we find out what's happening in the world of politics and governance and leadership as well. My name is Hilda Wadidi. And my name is Joy Muchache. Thank you so much for tuning in to this channel. Remember that if you want to talk to us about what you think, especially about the topic that we're going to be discussing today, you mm. can do so through our Facebook and other social media handles. That is Y254 channel. On Twitter, you can find us on Y254 channel as well. And then on Instagram, we're on Y254 underscore channel. Mm -hmm. I myself can be found on Joy underscore Mochache. And I can throw it back to Hilda maybe to introduce our guests and the topic for today. Yes, today we want to talk about the devolution aftermath. Our president had quite a lot to say after the sixth uh, annual devolution uh, conference that will happen in Kirinyaga, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. And yes, we're going to have a look at that clip shortly. But please make sure if you do want to participate in the conversation, you can find us on social media media at y254 channel on facebook at y254 channel on twitter the hashtag is why in the morning the hashtag is youth and politics if you'd like to be more specific on dstv we are channel 376 so make sure you do stay tuned with us now it's about time i introduced a gentleman with us in studio but uh, i think it's better for them to do it themselves and perhaps they can also say good morning to you all right say what's up uh, i think we can start with chumbari Good morning. Mm -hmm. My name is Ianel Chumbadev mm -hmm. from the University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Marco Labuso, and I'm happy to be here mm -hmm. to talk about youth and politics. Mm -hmm. And uh, on to Michael. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my name is Michael Amunini. Mm -hmm. I come from the State University. Mm -hmm. I take a lot of interest in the issues revolving. Mm -hmm affecting uh, youths mm -hmm. so we are happy to be here to to be together mm -hmm. so that we can be able to mm -hmm. to get forward with the issues mm -hmm. bring the issues to the table i think michael you're going to have to repeat that introduction yeah. because oh. microphone sorry oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but why didn't they use them <laughs> yes, no, uh -huh. okay my mm -hmm. name is michael omnini mm -hmm. come from the Easter mm -hmm. university mm -hmm. we are here because uh, there are many issues affecting the youth mm -hmm. So this uh, serves us as a very good uh, forum mm -hmm. for airing our grievances mm -hmm. and airing the issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are happy to be here, stay mm -hmm. connected, mm -hmm. we are together. Mm -hmm. All right, Asante Nisana for making it to studio today. We are looking forward to hearing what you have to say. So it's about time we hear what the president had to say first, and then now we can mm -hmm. ask the guests here what they think mm -hmm. about this particular issue. But wait, before then, hold up, hold up, hold up. In the spirit of current affairs, there's an issue we cannot ignore. Yeah. Um, we have one, Aisha Jumwayas Malindi, and uh, she's been, apparently been expelled from the, from the party with uh, accusations and disciplinary um, um, issues here and there when it came to loyalty. And Michael, you seem to have a lot to want to say about that. So can you please hear from me? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. You see the handshake, eh? mm -hmm. the handshake has a, a very wide uh, mm -hmm. dynamic. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You cannot say that uh, in terms of the handshake, the president and the mm -hmm. opposition leader, they have the, the moral and the, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to, to engage in the handshake, mm -hmm. but the other MPs and governors and senators, mm -hmm. you bar the handshake. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. Now we have to be on a level mm -hmm. such that the handshake mm -hmm. brings the whole country together mm -hmm. and moves the, the whole country the next level together. Mm -hmm. For us to be able to fight corruption, mm -hmm. for us to be able to fight nepotism, tribalism, mm -hmm. the handshake must be overall. Mm -hmm. It must carry everyone on board. Mm -hmm. So I think in this case of Aisha Jumwa, mm -hmm. the, the ODM fraternity, mm -hmm. they are so wrong to, to expel her. <laughs> Why? Uh -huh. Because uh, there are many other politicians mm -hmm. who have uh, beaten the, the ethos of the party mm -hmm. by declaring support mm -hmm. for the other candidate. Mm -hmm. There are many, mm -hmm. but you cannot uh, just stand up and uh, get Aisha Jumwa mm -hmm. just because she's a woman. Mm -hmm. Even the deputy president said yesterday mm -hmm. that women should be given platform mm -hmm. so that, uh, you know, the two just the two thirds gender rule, mm -hmm. it, ha it hasn't yet been passed. Mm -hmm. And uh, Aisha Jumwa, in this case, she's one of the most vocal women in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So you feel like it is also unfair on yeah, the party's so part unfair. to try and it's silence her? So because it's hard to get a woman in leadership. Okay. Mm. And in this case, Aisha Jumbo is very, she has a very good potential mm -hmm. in politics. She mm -hmm. wants to vote for governor mm -hmm. 2022. Mm -hmm. So there are many de detractors, mm -hmm. but uh, overall, mm -hmm. I want to say that 
we will start with Aisha Yumo mm -hmm. because women they play a very integral part in our society. Labosa, I'd like to hear your voice on this issue. Uh, all I'd like to say is we should look at this more closer. Mm -hmm. Is it the fact that she's a woman mm -hmm. and they're actually picking on her? Mm -hmm. And uh, as Michael has said, it is very rare to find women in leadership. Mm -hmm. And just that as a fact, as Kenyans, mm -hmm. we should be able to respect them. Mm -hmm. We can't undermine them and discriminate them. Mm -hmm. And that move, mm -hmm. I'd like to say personally, mm -hmm. this handshake, now we are celebrating a year mm -hmm. since the handshake started. Mm -hmm. It's very controversial, mm -hmm. this handshake. Mm -hmm. And uh, as leaders mm -hmm. from Kenya, mm -hmm. we need to know, like, how is it helping us? And every Kenyan mm -hmm. needs to be on board mm -hmm. and know the, like, the ups and downs of this handshake. Mm -hmm. And as I said, mm -hmm. some certain leaders mm -hmm. from and certain communities mm -hmm. feel they're being affected by mm -hmm. this handshake. Mm -hmm. So by looking at this, I don't think those, it's, it's not fair. Mm -hmm. And as you have seen, Murkomen has mm -hmm. gone to court, mm -hmm. and hopefully mm -hmm. Aisha will be free. Mm -hmm. We stand with her mm -hmm. as a nation. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Too bad. Eh? And the move by ODM party to expel Aisha Juma mm -hmm. is misinformed and very unfair. Mm -hmm. I think ODM should learn to tolerate different voices, mm -hmm. even if they are not of the same mm. to theirs. Mm -hmm. yeah, we should let her be because she's very ambitious and she represents the people mm -hmm. in Malindi. I think ODM should learn to tolerate her. her. Okay. I, I have to agree with everything that you people have said mm -hmm. and removing Aisha Juma from this position would yeah, mm -hmm. essentially just completely go against what we're trying to do with the two-thirds rule mm -hmm. when it comes to including women in leadership. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I really believe in giving a second chance and mm -hmm. let, letting you know, people see what she can do. Mm -hmm. But if I could ask, because what I've picked up is um, the fact that you've all agreed that the handshake is not inclusive, maybe there's some communities which are being affected. Mm -hmm. If I could just ask um, any one of you, mm -hmm. what would make this handshake more inclusive then? How could we include everyone then? Because maybe if we could answer that question, then you see uh, one of the question which uh, Michael, yeah, mm -hmm. one of the question which uh, the former senator from Kakamega asked yesterday mm -hmm. is that uh, the handshake, the the handshake was between NASA leader and President Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where were the other NASA principals during the handshake? Mm -hmm. Where mm -hmm. were the other Jubilee principals during the handshake? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. we, those are the facts which we have to lay on the ground right now. Mm -hmm. okay. Where were the principles? Right. So that's because when you leave other leaders, they represent mm -hmm. other communities, mm -hmm. they represent other regions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you leave them out of the handshake, mm -hmm. you're telling something to their people. Like yes. right now, the Rift Valley, uh, mm -hmm. the Valley region, mm -hmm. they are a little bit stressed. Mm -hmm. They are frustrated yes. because they think the handshake has undermined the, the region. Mm -hmm. So as a country and as a people, mm -hmm. we need to get together mm -hmm. and uh, bring on board other leaders from mm -hmm. the other political divide. William Ruto should come on board. And mm -hmm. you saw it, Angula, the mm -hmm. Fort Kenya leaders unit yesterday. Mm -hmm. yes. We need to bring all communities on board yes. so that no community will say, that, uh, will say that we are being left out in the handshake. Mm -hmm. Also, a few remarks on that handshake. All right. It is very controversial. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what I don't understand is why we are we are talking about um, communities. Aren't we going back to tribal politics? No, you see, all in all, is this, this, this handshake? But if okay. Wait, let's hear Some from Marco. <laughs> okay, well, let's hear from Some communities feel they're being attacked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, the Kalenjin community. Mm -hmm. We all know of. William, Dr. William Ruto's aspirations mm -hmm. to run for president in 2022. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The community feels mm -hmm. like, why is he not in the picture? Mm -hmm. Why all of a sudden things are going bad mm -hmm. for William Ruto? Mm -hmm. It's like they're attacking him. Mm -hmm. And people from the Rift Valley mm -hmm. know that they gave mm -hmm. Uhuru Kenyatta mm -hmm. votes mm -hmm. during that 2017 election. Yes. And the whole of Rift Valley mm -hmm. was on board. Yeah. Since this journey started from 2013, mm -hmm. many people say if it wasn't for Ruto, mm -hmm. where would Kenyatta be? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. There's even a clip mm -hmm. that Uhuru is saying. Mm -hmm. Wangoje miaka kumi yangu mm -hmm. and miaka kumi yaru, mm -hmm. what's happening now? Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, the president, mm -hmm. his excellency, hasn't come so clear about this issue. Mm -hmm. So as a community, they feel they don't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. They don't know where the president stands. Mm -hmm. If he's against them or he's with them. Yeah. Yeah. Over the past one year, I think the handshake has not been very inclusive mm -hmm. because there has been some Jubilee allied MPs have been suggesting that Ruto, William Ruto is not included. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I th think maybe William Ruto should be included and mm -hmm. also in the fight against corruption, mm -hmm. he should be included in it. I'm glad that you guys have brought up the fight against corruption. It is in that, it is in that spirit that I will allow you to first hear what our president said during this uh, past evolution conference that just came, just, that just concluded the other day. It is one of the reasons that so many Kenyans braved long winding queues to overwhelmingly usher in our new supreme law. Devolution was informed and inspired by, among other aspects, the desire to foster national unity, promote accountability in the exercise of power, but also the participation of people in making decisions on matters affecting them with a view to ensuring equitable development. Governors, the theme you have chosen for this year's conference, deliver, transform, measure, remaining accountable, is indeed timely. On the one hand, it affords us the opportunity to reflect on the progress we have made so far, while on the other, the theme resonates powerfully with my own administration's agenda for the nation as espoused under the medium term plan three with its focus on the big four. Six years ago, as the, pre as the first president to lead the nation in implementing the new devolved structure of governance, I proclaimed the national government's solemn and unwavering commitment to transfer all devolved functions to the devolved units and to do everything necessary to realize the shared aspirations of the people of Kenya through devolution. We embarked on the devolution path with a determination to succeed. And indeed, over the last six years, I believe we have made significant milestones in the social, economic, and political renewal of our republic. And most of this is thanks to devolution. For instance, in the deepening of healthcare, when we started, we had a single referral hospital, but today, Kenya now boasts over eight well-equipped referral facilities across the country. Kenyans from different counties now have referral options. Well, if you are like many Kenyans, you also notice the outstanding job that that interpreter did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but also, <Yeah>. President. <laughs> but also, let's go back to the topic. Let's go right back to the topic. Um, our president talked about uh, measures being put in place to make sure that uh, the corruption is not enabled to come in the government. Uh, come, come in the in the future. Let me put it like that. In the future, and he also talked about asset recovery from those who have been involved in corruption and will get uh, um, implicated in some of this corruption cases mm -hmm. I'd like to understand from you when it comes to asset recovery because this is a song we've had before mm -hmm. how effective do you think it will be and is it even possible yeah. it, I think we should the corrupt leaders and and Kenyans all the assets should be taken and be given to the poor the unfortunate and the elderly mm -hmm. that should be done soon mm -hmm. yeah, but with evidence mm -hmm. there should be the assets should be recovered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I think. I'm sorry. Before we go on, mm -hmm. that's what should be done. But yeah. is it possible? Is it possible? The, yeah. The thing is, you you no, you're very right in what you're saying. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're correct that that is the best mm -hmm. thing that that should be done with the assets. Mm -hmm. But. Yes. Is that actually going to happen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't happen, mm -hmm. what then is our next move? Yes. You know, first of all, we should be realistic mm -hmm. as Kenyans. Mm -hmm. If this issue of corruption, mm -hmm. who's behind it? Mm -hmm. You know, 
it's all about corruption, this fight on corruption, this mm. fight on corruption. They need, we need someone who's going to be used as an example and is jailed, mm -hmm. a politician. A so, few people have been jailed, but uh, the, the, <laughs> ones with, the ones who are glaring uh, have not really... Those are pawns. <laughs> uh, those oh, no. They're just pawns in the game. Yeah, those are pawns in the game. Mm -hmm. okay. We need a real, you know, mm -hmm. what I'm talking about. We need something mm -hmm. that's going to convince other Kenyans. Mm -hmm. This is the fight on corruption, mm -hmm. and we're fighting corruption. Mm -hmm. Not just go, going to say corruption, corruption, and we're fighting, and nothing is happening. And nothing right. is being fought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we need to be realistic. Mm -hmm. Asset recovery mm -hmm. is the next, that's going to be the next step, mm -hmm. if this step actually works. Yeah. You have to go in steps. The mm -hmm. first step is getting these people, mm -hmm. getting them jailed and stuff. Mm -hmm. Then we can talk about asset recovery. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't skip mm -hmm. a step. Okay, let's hear from Michael. Yeah, Hilda, mm -hmm. there, are, there are many challenges mm -hmm. facing Kenya, mm -hmm. but we can all agree that one of the challenges, mm -hmm. the major challenge is mm -hmm. corruption. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a unit in the EACC called the uh, Asset Recovery Unit. Michael, right. Asset Recovery, <laughs> recovery Unit. Mm -hmm. And as we are talking right now, mm -hmm. they, they claim to have uh, reclaimed 4.3 billion mm -hmm. assets. They claim. Yeah, they claim. Mm -hmm. But we haven't seen leaders <laughs> being convicted. <laughs> so where were these assets <laughs> recovered from? Uh -huh. We haven't seen leaders being uh, convicted. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the assets someone were... St someone steals, uh, steals 19 billion, mm -hmm. they go to court, they get a bond of 5 million, they're out, they're acquitted. Mm -hmm. We're not seeing conviction. Mm -hmm. So as youths we can say this is just a cosmetic fight of corruption. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a cosmetic fight. Yeah, it's a mm. cosmetic fight. But oh, yes. we, uh, you know, there's an Englishman who <laughs> said that when you want to stop corruption in a country, mm -hmm. you have to jail one of. You know, there's a minister in India. Mm -hmm. He stole money. Mm -hmm. They jailed him. Mm -hmm. And as you're talking right now, we know India. Mm -hmm. You know China. They mm -hmm. don't have co the the index of corruption is less than two percent. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Why? Yet they were just get one big person, get a minister, mm -hmm. get a governor, mm -hmm. only one. Mm -hmm. Just convict him. You will see the small fish mm -hmm. will not steal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is, I a, see. that is the solution which we want. As a, also, as a I'd like to add, in China, corrupt people are, are hanged. Mm -hmm. yeah, in Brazil, we saw former president of Brazil mm -hmm. was jailed. Mm -hmm. South, South Korea, the former president was jailed also. Yes, yeah. so if you can jail a president, then people, they will, you have put the fear of God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it will actually put a point across. And like you uh -huh. said, the small fish will not steal. Mm -hmm. Because what you have done is removing the, the kingpin or the mastermind of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But then that would mean doing some investigations and finding out really mm -hmm. who would be the best person to deal with in such a case. But for me, what I really feel about the asset recovery issue is mm -hmm. if... And when you brought it up, mm -hmm. that the claims mm -hmm. about the assets that have been recovered, <laughs> what if they've already been, mm -hmm. um, what do you call it, dispersed again? Mm -hmm. And no one knows. It's to no one's knowledge. You never know. The story but just went under the yeah, mud. Yeah, like, okay. exactly. Mm -hmm. And I fear, I really fear that this will just go under the mud again. Mm -hmm. I just really fear that. So I feel like we need to keep chatting about it. It mm -hmm. needs to keep trending even on um online as we well need as to keep the, the pressure yes because mm -hmm. if we don't keep the pressure i'm telling mm -hmm. you guys this thing will go quiet mm -hmm. and then we have done nothing mm -hmm. and then talk of corruption what have we done mm -hmm. yeah okay that's interesting for, for, so from what i've understood from you guys is this fight against corruption seems more or less more cosmetic and not very achievable i don't know you let us know what you think you can find us on social media make sure at white five four channel that the hashtag is youth and politics hashtag please stay on why in the morning but it's about time we talk about something else the president mentioned he said that he had the privilege of being the first president to pioneer um the devolution so i'd like to understand since devolution was introduced have you felt the impact of devolution in your life as a young person <laughs> in this country, has your life gotten any better? What benefits can you say you have you have reaped if you were to if you were to talk about it as a young person in this country that you can see from devolution that Kenyatta should be proud of? Yeah, I think we have reaped a lot from devolution. Mm -hmm. In the past, we used to have one one big man. Mm -hmm. The presidency was mm -hmm. imperial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now we have governors, forty-seven governors. Mm -hmm. They're easily easily reachable. Mm -hmm. And they are easily reachable. Yeah. Wow, Chumbade. Okay. Yeah. Development is fast. <laughs> well connected, are we? Yes. Uh -huh. And like in the past, where you you would to have development, mm -hmm. you will need to consult the office of the president. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Okay. But yeah. so now things are a bit different. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you feel like it has benefited you in some yeah. way? Yeah, we gained a lot from the evolution. All right. Yeah. Let me hear from the gentleman, the other gentleman. Has the devolution affected you, impacted your life personally in any way, and which way? Yeah, I think that uh, w one of the principles of uh, devolution mm -hmm. is a separation of powers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Unlike the imperial presidency which Jomo and uh, the former president Daniel Moy had, mm -hmm. this, uh, it's a separated powers. Mm -hmm. Health, sports, they're under county government. Mm -hmm. And we can see mm -hmm. from 1963 to 2013, mm -hmm. 2.6 million Kenyans were connected to electricity. Mm -hmm. But from 2013, since the evolution started, mm -hmm. up to now, mm -hmm. there are 6.2 million Kenyans connected to electricity. Mm -hmm. 6,000 kilometers of road were, was tarmacked. Mm -hmm. Right now, we can see almost 11,500 kilometers was tarmacked. Mm -hmm. Just because of the county government, mm -hmm. because in the other in the other governments, mm -hmm. you used to wait for development from Nairobi. Mm -hmm. You wait for the parliamentarians to go to parliament to mm -hmm. air their, their constituents' grievances. Mm -hmm. Then automatically from there, if they are not in the ruling party, mm -hmm. they will not get development. Okay. So devolution has served us something which is called separation of powers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I add? Take. If I could ask a question, yeah. you mentioned um, improvement on electricity and even roads getting tarmacked, infrastructure, but my question is for the common Mwananchi who really their basic needs are not electricity and tarmacked roads. What about things like health and education and employment? What will the devolution do when it comes to such areas? Because I feel like that is where Kenyans are really hurting. You see, most um, Kenyans, the majority. And uh, that is one of the things which the, the people who uh, wrote this constitution they took. They took they took this matter seriously. That is why the health sector it is uh, dispensed in the county government mm -hmm. act. Mm -hmm. The county governments are responsible for health in this nation. But they, the nurses are striking, the doctors are striking, but people don't know. It's not the matter of national government, it's the counties. Mm -hmm. The health was discharged to the county government. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I feel is that uh, you, you have seen uh, towards the big four, one of the agendas of the big four is uh, universal health care. Yeah. To give people, Affordable. Uh, all people, mm -hmm. like uh, the NHIF cards, mm -hmm. you pay 500 every month. When you get sick, you just go to the hospital free of charge, mm -hmm. even inpatient free of charge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have seen a major milestone being made by devolution mm. yeah. in the health sector. In the health sector, yeah. Yeah. And you have seen in Kisumu the other day they have launched the universal health health uh, healthcare program. Mm -hmm. We've seen it in Bungoma. Mm -hmm. We've seen it in Busia. Mm -hmm. We've seen it in Trans Zoya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I like the fact that you mentioned uh, somebody talks about separation of powers, and uh, there's there's been talk of. Um, a referendum or a constitutional review that is coming that is going to change our government system. And I, ju and I would just like to hear as a young person, do you believe that this is the way forward when it comes to also inclusivity? Because this is being done in, in the guise of inclusivity. Yeah. So we'd like to hear. Yeah, I don't think the referendum will benefit any Kenyan. Mm -hmm. The referendum is a... <laughs> <laughs> I love the way oh my The referendum goodness. is a plot to... Could you say that again? It will not benefit anyone. It's okay. a plot by Raila Odinga mm -hmm. to get some powers. He's, he's been out of government for very long. <laughs> <laughs> goodness, shots fired. Oh, you've lit some fire there. Uh -huh. You know, this referendum... Mm -hmm. There's a lot of talk about Uhuru is too young to retire. Mm -hmm. Some say, like he said, uh, Honorable <laughs> Raila Odinga, mm -hmm. he's missed power. Mm -hmm. How many times has he been going? And he actually, has missed as a, it. I think he still has a lot of power. He has a lot of power, uh -huh. but what, what has been his target mm -hmm. all through? Mm -hmm. The top seat. Mm -hmm. He wants to be president mm -hmm. of Kenya. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a youth, mm -hmm. when am I going to get an opportunity? Mm -hmm. When someone at 73 years old mm -hmm. is still in politics, Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's yeah. a really good question yeah. that you have asked yeah. and a very you important know, one. The youth, mm -hmm. we're never given opportunities. Mm -hmm. And this is, I usually say, this generation of ours, mm -hmm. we don't know corruption, mm -hmm. we don't know tribalism, mm -hmm. we don't know nepotism. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be honest, the generation above, in front of us, they fail. Mm -hmm. Talking about corruption, mm -hmm. have they dealt with it? Mm -hmm. The next election, you don't tell me the elections will be tribal? Mm -hmm. 
And that's what I'm saying, invest in the youth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Invest in the youth, because mm -hmm. we're the leaders of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And you know, as a, even me as a youth, mm -hmm. for tomorrow, if I want to, if I, if, if I want to say, mm -hmm. want to be like the, the, the best thing ever, mm -hmm. it's just doing these things the, the this current government is, is, is not doing. We're going, we just say, let's go against these people. Mm -hmm. We won't be corrupt, we won't be tribal, mm -hmm. we won't have scandals and, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Sort of thing. Mm. So make some actual changes yeah. that will, because right now we're just running the same game. Mm -hmm. And by the way, in the next election, I have a strong feeling will just be that if nothing changes, really, it will just be the same argument. It's still being, no, guys, like can you said, be if, we're not, if we're not doing anything to change it, <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. mm. If we don't do, if we don't take action right now. Yes, the tribalist, you know, mentality may still continue throughout the election to come. Well, there was something else that was also brought up that I found very interesting, and I'd like to hear your opinion on it. And um, this is to do with the presidential term limit. So there were some changes that were being proposed that um, the presidential term should be seven years, and then you only or you only buy it once, one time, touch and go, and that's it. So I'd like to hear um, from the young people in studio today. Maybe, what do you think? Yeah. Maybe they are trying to copy uh, Russia, Russia's president, mm -hmm. Vladimir Putin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was five years, it was four years, mm -hmm. but he changed it to six years. Mm -hmm. yes, so I think it's for power hungry people. It's a power hungry. I really don't move. like this move. Yeah. Huh? When I had it, I was just like, oh uh -huh. my gosh. The only thing that that says is that you just love power. Mm -hmm. That's all it says. Mm -hmm. That's all it says. I don't care what you want to give it around. Mm -hmm. The fact that you're extending your term in office, or it just means you'd like some more time in power. Well, it's not, really, no an explanation it's not to really an extension. And you know, there's also the issue of people saying that no president can really, really go really for one term. Like maybe they, they claim that uh, five years is not enough for them to achieve um, their manifesto. So they thought um, instead of going through the whole hustle and parcel of the elections and, and you're still going to elect the same person for the next five years, second term. Five years I actually think is enough. They say five years. I think five years is enough. But the problem is, is the five years enough? That's you know why question. I think it's enough? Because the first three years, we're just kind of chilling. Uh -huh. And then uh, people wake up like, whoops, two years left. OK, now let's what start working. What is chilling? <laughs> I mean, not much getting done normally, and then after after uh -huh. some years pass uh -huh. by, then you realize, my goodness, my time is almost over. Then uh -huh. you start thinking, wow, there's a manifesto that I need to uh -huh. fulfill. Uh -huh. You know, Hilda, on my take, mm -hmm. I I think that uh, the issue is not a referendum. Mm -hmm. The issue is a referendum question. Mm -hmm. mm. What does the referendum entail? Mm -hmm. Is it the creation of the executive prime minister? Mm -hmm. Is it uh, a seven-year term of the president? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a president cannot mm -hmm. achieve in five financial years? Mm -hmm. How can he achieve in seven financial years? That's a good question. If the you Kenyan can do budget, it in five. The Kenyan, mm -hmm. for information, the Kenyan budget is uh -huh. three trillion per year. Uh -huh. Three times five is fifteen trillion. Three trillion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the last financial year our budget was three trillion. Mm -hmm. For five years, mm -hmm. fifteen trillion. Mm -hmm. What you cannot do with fifteen trillion? Mm -hmm. The same thing you can do, you cannot do with 20 trillion. Mm -hmm. So it just boils down to the uh, the type of leaders we choose. Mm -hmm. They are all made from the same cloth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have seen in Russia, Putin was a president. Mm -hmm. He changed the constitution, he became the prime minister. Mm -hmm. Then after 10 years, he became the president again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the situation which we are seeing oh, in no. Kenya right now. Uh -huh. Just uh -huh. right on our eyes. <laughs> yes, we are just seeing it. Mm -hmm. The question is. Mm -hmm. Does the leaders have the interests of Kenyans at heart? Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. That's, That's the, the problem. question. Yeah. Okay. They are saying Pongo mm Samziko. -hmm. That is okay. We mm -hmm. reduce the MCS from mm -hmm. 2200 to around 1600. Pongo Samziko, the yeah. third way alliance yeah. Uh, yeah. We preferendum we now. They are proposed from uh, 349 mm -hmm. to around 190. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Governors from 47 to 16. That's what Raila is proposing. Mm -hmm. But. You can see the budget mm -hmm. of the, the the positions they want to cut out. Mm -hmm. It's almost a billion shillings, mm -hmm. but they want to create the office of the prime minister, mm -hmm. which gets eight billion every year. Hey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is it's like zero work. Yeah. We're just undoing. Yeah. Is it yeah. on the interest of Kenya? Mm -hmm. One step forward. That's the question, back. the referendum question. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that is that is what William Ruto and Murkom and the others they are both, they are, they are going to put. To pose on Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Is that why you, you have a feeling, both of you, that it's just not going to do anything for anyone? Mm -hmm. Because yeah. the real question is, is that, does the referendum have the interests of Kenyans and at heart? And we have started seeing the real meaning of the handshake. Yeah. Yeah. 
and if, and if you're leaning and if you're yeah. leaning towards no uh -huh. the referendum does not have the interests of kenyans at mm -hmm. heart then mm -hmm. really in in all honesty it's not going to help anyone out and be wasting time mm -hmm. yeah. yeah literally so, mm -hmm. so would you like to comment on that before i ask my next question okay about the referendum mm -hmm. much has been said about it mm -hmm. hang of power mm -hmm. they say once you're in power mm -hmm. living is becomes an issue okay so we, we need to be more understanding. Is that what you are saying? When it comes to what our politicians are doing, because power is very sweet. Hmm? Even though it's very sweet. <laughs> but Hilda, let us be serious on this, this yeah, issue. Yeah. Let us be serious yeah. on this case, yeah? Mm -hmm. Uhuru says uh, it was Kalonzo who aired first. Eh? Mm -hmm. He said that uh, we might reconsider mm -hmm. giving Uhuru a third, mm -hmm. third term. But also, uh -huh. you see that every mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 30% of the budget is lost to corruption. Mm -hmm. That is 1.1 trillion mm -hmm. every year. Mm -hmm. That means that uh, every month is around uh, 120 billion lost. Mm -hmm. You can see yesterday it's billions, billions. Every day you watch the news, billions, billions. It's a joke. Michael, this thing yeah. of, of, of corruption seems to be paining you a lot because you seem to be finding a way <laughs> to check alone. us back. All of us, all, all of the you Kenyans. as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Let's talk about the future of now the youth who would like to take up those positions in leadership. You'd like to know, do you feel like you have a chance or are you being shut out? And you, can you tell us your experience so far, especially to Mbadi, because I've seen you, you like to vlog and stuff and blog, so I think I'd like to hear from you. Yeah, I'm um, mm -hmm. a student leader at the University of Nairobi, mm -hmm. and I think mm -hmm. we are g given a chance mm -hmm. through UNSA, University of Nairobi Students mm -hmm. Association. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'll be vying for Parkland's chairmanship, Parkland's mm -hmm. campus. Mm -hmm. So I think we are given a chance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think you will have the same chance once you leave campus, when you're yeah. not in campus anymore? National politics, I think it will be, yeah, it will be easy. It will be easy. <laughs> I like your attitude. Yeah. Hey, okay, turn the Kazi. Let me hear from Laboso. Mm, okay, with national politics, mm -hmm. even going through the hierarchy, mm -hmm. the top position, mm -hmm. as even my friend Michael over here likes tweeting <laughs> about, mm -hmm. it's a case of dynasties. Mm -hmm. And they say what they say, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. William Ruto mm -hmm. is from a poor family. Mm -hmm. William Ruto is a hustler. Mm -hmm. But what now, the big picture is, mm -hmm. how did you reach there? Mm -hmm. It was through hard work. Mm -hmm. And we can't do this thing. It's like Kenya's become a monarchy. Mm -hmm. This person enters, mm -hmm. the child comes and enters, mm -hmm. then the next and next, and it goes on and on. Mm -hmm. So personally, I think that this national politics thing, mm -hmm. first these leaders mm -hmm. must accept they've been in power. Mm -hmm. And if you've not left a legacy, mm -hmm. it's to go home. <laughs> Give us an opportunity, <laughs> you know, because uh -huh. I say mm -hmm. the youth is the next big thing. Mm -hmm. The youth is the future of the country. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to invest in us. You ought to. Okay. Let me hear from Michael. Yeah, Hilda. Mm -hmm. I think that the, the youth are the, uh, they are the engines of change. Mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And we've seen it all over Africa. Mm -hmm. so Moses Amara Machel, mm -hmm. Mandela. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen uh, Sankara. Sankara. Mm -hmm. We've seen all these. Mm -hmm. They were young when they when mm -hmm. they engineered change. Mm -hmm. And what I drive my my uh, my passion on William Ruto. William Ruto became an MP when he was in 20, 26 years old. Mm -hmm. 26. Mm -hmm. He was just from University of Nairobi. 26. So we still have time, some of and us. And when you look at it, <laughs> William Ruto is 52 years old. Uh -huh. Raila is 75, mm -hmm. 74. Mm -hmm. 2022, Raila will be 80. Mm -hmm. Uru will be 60, Uru is 57, he'll mm -hmm. be 62 in 2022. Mm -hmm. We should give these young leaders a chance. Mm -hmm. Let them fail, we take them home, but we should give them a chance to engineer change. That's what I think. Okay. And you know the blame also goes to us as Kenyans. Mm -hmm. We're the ones who vote for them. Yes. And we're the ones who choose our leaders. Mm -hmm. So, as much as we talk about this corruption, as much as we talk about there's nothing going on in this country, <laughs> where did it start from? From us. It was us. The ballot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was but already in the ballot. And yeah. I, do, I, can't, I don't understand why you'd be given 500 shillings mm -hmm. to vote for someone. <laughs> 500 shillings. Mm -hmm. You're not thinking about mm -hmm. the, the whole of the people in, in, your, in your area. Mm -hmm. The infrastructure that's supposed to go on. Mm -hmm. The healthcare. Mm. You know, it's, it's just being selfish. 
It is, yeah. it is, yeah. And so on what I was thinking about young people, if we could go back to that for a second, is I, I genuinely wish and hope that, um, as you have mentioned, Michael, that young people can be given a chance to rule because mm -hmm. look at it in a very simple way. Mm -hmm. Right now, a lot of people are complaining on a fino asana. Mm -hmm. You know, that is the feeling and the sentiment around Kenyans right now. Mm -hmm. Even, you know, things are just a little bit too hard. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking to myself, as youth, Mm -hmm. We, if we continue to be in this position where, and right now even youth are suffering, mm -hmm. we can't get jobs. Mm -hmm. And when you can't get jobs, you're forced to do terrible things, mm -hmm. you know, to get money. Yes. And so what I'm thinking is, as that person who has gone through that life finally grows up, mm -hmm. and then they're put into office, they're mm -hmm. not going to forget that struggle they went through when they were youth. Mm -hmm. And so they'll say to themselves, it's now my turn to mm -hmm. eat. What you're doing is, mm -hmm. you're, per you're perpetu perpetuating the corruption cycle to continue, mm -hmm. when you're not giving people a chance. Because you're putting so much spite in people. By the time when I fico could you, they say, ah, me, I suffered, now let me enjoy this. Forget everyone else. It's good that you've it's good that you've talked about that joy because I've just remembered something our president said the other day that that received a lot of public outrage, especially mm -hmm. from the young people. And as we conclude this segment, because it's about time we, we, we leave, we are going to we are going to conclude with this one, please. So yes, we have the my turn to eat. Our president had talked about how um, he doesn't trust the young people more or less when it comes to leadership. This happened when he had uh, put a Moody worry where he. Put him and then people said, you know, A, B, C, D, and then he said, ah, me, I'm better off with one was there. Mm -hmm. uh, you young people will come and do a few things here and there. So let me hear from you. Do you think we are capable? The, the appointment. We'll just take it from one person, a comment from one person. Yeah. The appointment so of Moody Awori was, a, a, was an award mm -hmm. for cronism. Mm -hmm. Moody Awori was Mm -hmm. An ally to Uru Kenyatta, so he was mm -hmm. awarding him. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a very bad move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not crazy. Mm -hmm. I told you, mm -hmm. you should retire at sixty. Mm -hmm. Someone at 91 years old. Well, it was not really about Uncle Moody. I think we need to leave him alone. <laughs> it was the issue old. of not being <laughs> trusted, like young people not being trusted yes. to take up the realms of leadership. And why is that? Mm -hmm. Why is that? You're the one who should be telling us. Also, I'm going to answer that question. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see, it's just uh -huh. the how can I put it? Uh -huh. You like it's it's all about opportunities, uh -huh. and as you see, they don't want to give us the youth because uh -huh. they're in power right now. Uh -huh. They want to enjoy the fruits of power uh -huh. and everything. Uh -huh. But to be honest, uh -huh. I think we uh -huh. we are the major players in this uh -huh. change, uh -huh. and. As, as you've seen, for how many, how many years have you been defending this corruption mm -hmm. thing? Mm -hmm. How many years? <laughs> have count. you gone anywhere? Mm -hmm. no. It's time to actually see we need change and actually put change, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing's happening. And okay. All right, so we need change. So it's about time we conclude this segment. So Thank you guys so much for coming. Joy, do you want to say goodbye on our behalf? I <laughs> sure think, why not? Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much for coming, as Hilda said. It has been such an interesting talk about devolution and um, what it is doing for youth and mm -hmm. if it's doing anything for us, mm -hmm. as well as including the referendum mm -hmm. and Agenda 2020. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to just ask um, mm -hmm. maybe our youth that are watching, mm -hmm. you know, talk to us and tell us what you think about what we're saying because this is inclusive of you. Mm -hmm. This is inclusive of your future as well. Mm -hmm. And the ways you can do that are through social media handles. Mm -hmm. You should know them by now, but I can repeat them real quick. That is Facebook Y254 channel. On Twitter, that is Y254, under, uh, Y254 channel. On Instagram is Y254 underscore channel. And remember, you can find us on DSCB 300 and channel 376. And do stand by for next week's show. Yes.